hello everyone so we will continue that topic so in the previous video we created a local abstract class we created two subclasses from that abstract class now we will call these methods means if first radio button is capital x we will call the method display of first subclass and if second radio button is capital x we will call the method display of second subclass that is basic so i will write start of selection and i will declare two objects because our methods are instance methods so we have to create the objects my first subclass is sales and my second subclass is billing now we will write if first radio button is capital x means we clicked on sales radio button i will write or i will call my method of first subclass i will create the object because object creation is necessary how to call as it is a instance method we have to write hyphen and arrow what is the method display we all know whenever we are calling import will convert to export and export will convert to import so we have one importing so it will convert to one exporting we have four exporting parameters so it will convert to four importing importing e e r dat is equal to l v underscore e r dat e e r z e t is equal to l v underscore e r z e t p e r num is equal to lv underscore er num and pvb type is equal to lv underscore vp type i will write the sales order details are as follows and i will write this four variables lv underscore er dat lv underscore er zdt lv underscore er num and i will write lv underscore vp i will declare these four variables same thing we did when we called the global abstract class methods in the program lv underscore er dat type er dat lv underscore er zdt lv underscore er num lv underscore vp type now i'll check the syntax syntactically correct and activate now simply i will copy paste and write the logic for second radio button if second radio button is capital x i will create the object of my second subclass i will call the second subclass method and here i will write the billing order details 
I will check the syntax and I will activate the program. So I'll put a breakpoint so that we can understand more better. I will put a breakpoint on both these conditions and I will put a breakpoint in the implementation of the two classes. Suppose I am passing the sales document number first. Whenever I will click on the execute button, start of selection event will call. I'll close some session. My first radio button is capital X. My object of first subclass will create the object is created now whenever i will do f5 control will go to 29 line number because my logic is on that particular line it will fetch data and it will display the details of that sales document number now suppose if i am passing the billing document number the second radio button will be capital X and you can see my second radio button is capital X. It will go to if condition. My object of second class will create. Yes, object created. I'm doing F5. Now it is fetching data from BBRK table. That is my billing table. And this is my output. So this is the whole abstract class topic. We understood what is abstract class, how we can create a abstract class using SC24 also, or how we can create a abstract class using SC38 itself. It means how we can create a local abstract class how we can create local subclasses from the abstract class and how we can call those particular methods so we'll go for the next topics in the upcoming videos thank you